Uh, Jerron, describe from your perspective what that sequence was all about in front of their bench. Uh, I mean, he just hit an and one three. We both fell on the ground, or I fell on the ground. And uh, the whole team just was over top of me. And I mean, my teammates just tried to come uh, help me up. And I guess uh, it just went on from there. Anyone from the BG bench try to help you up? <clears throat> nah. I, don't, I mean, I don't think so. I ain't for sure, really, because it was a lot going on. Uh, it was just a lot of people over top of me. And that's really all I remember. Uh, you guys were called for three technicals on that play. Uh, is that something, that type of behavior, is that something you're OK with, given the situation and the spot you were in? Or is that an example of a team losing its cool and losing its focus at a, at a big team ball? Uh, from, from a team perspective, I wouldn't really say it was a good thing or a bad thing. I think my teammates just had my back, just trying to uh, help me off the ground. and. I mean, that, that obviously hurt us uh, and continued to give them more momentum, but uh, I don't know if it was good or bad. It was, they just came to my, my help. Rather, when you guys, there's that long break in between when they're making the decision. What do you guys do during that time to kind of keep focus on the game when you're just waiting to try to make a decision? We were just talking to each other, telling each other to, you know, relax. Uh, it's a lot of time left in the game. Um, then we just tried to get loose. That's that's it. Was it, was it the foul problems that, that where they started their comeback, or they also had an easy time to drive into the hoop a lot? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was foul so much at first. We uh, after that run they made before halftime. Um, we never really sat down and continued to get stops, consecutive stops in the second half. And uh, I mean, that, that hurt us. And them getting to the paint forced us. I mean, they drew fouls on us from them getting into the paint and uh, just worked towards their advantage. Jordan, how would you describe your first three Mac games? What, what, what have you learned over the last week and a half about what this means to be in conference play? Uh, it's a war, you know what I'm saying? Every game you go into, it's a, it's a, it's a battle. Not everyone wants to win the MAC as much as any other, any other team in the MAC. So I'm um, just getting used to that and uh, just got to be tougher, play harder. The second chance points, the offensive rebounds, is that a, an example of a way that you guys have to get tougher, get better, harder? Uh, we just got to get focused, you know what I'm saying? Uh, missing box outs. Um, that's really it. We just got to get tougher. You're on for most of the last eight or so minutes of the first half. You're the only starter out there on the floor. Are you trying to do a little bit extra, trying to carry a little bit extra, a little bit extra weight with so many young guys around you that haven't played as many minutes uh, so far this year. You guys, and was that? Are you trying to Are you trying to do anything extra, trying to carry a little bit more weight when you're the only starter out there on the floor for so so much? Uh, such a big chunk of that first half? Uh, no, nah, not really. Um, I got faith in my all my teammates, the young guys. They they proven to me that they can play with anybody. So, um, I mean, yeah, we made a couple mistakes, and and that hurt us. But I'm not going to just say I'm the only starter out here. I need to go do this or that. Jordan, did you guys talk about? Getting off a good start in this one. You didn't get off so good a start against Ball State. Yeah, we actually, um, you know what I'm saying? When we get off to slow starts, it kind of like puts us behind in the game. So, like, when we get off to a good start, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if we mess up, it gives us a cushion where we play, okay, we can fight back and push the lead back up. Jordan, how are you guys taking this one? You were up 14 in the first <laughs> half, uh, ugly finish. Uh, you lose a home game for the first time this year. Where does, where does this put this club right now? Um, I mean, a loss is a loss. I mean, we don't take losses, you know what I'm saying, too good. But um, I think uh, we're going to learn from this. And I think we're going to bounce back and we're going to be okay. Um, I have faith in all my teammates. I have faith in my coaches. And uh, we're all going to get real close together. And uh, we're going to be okay. And we're going to fight back in the MAC. Anything else for the players? Jerron, why do you think the uh, ball moved in once and as fluid towards the end of the first half and the second half as it was? Uh, I, don't, uh, I really don't know. Uh, I mean, the beginning of the game, 
when you're hitting shots, it's easy to just pass the ball around. When we stop hitting shots, uh, we begin to force things a little bit. But I mean, I, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's a specific reason for that. But I mean, I don't know.